a month before my album come out, I don't have no A and R. He the only person who know me because he got to know me. Like he know my story. He know everything. Like you feel me? So I'm getting. I'm coming who to the. Who him? The label fired him, but it had. Let's to be, be real. It's got to be from. It had to been from Jeezy. You feel me? Because he was you, asking for you, more you, money. You think that he was? Why would Jeezy not want to see you win though? I have no idea. I can't answer that question. What you think it was competition? Your ego. We just talked about ego. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like me as him. At this time, being my brother, you don't want to think that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Did Jesus camp or any of those people come around at that point? No. Like, let me tell you, the only th the only time he came around was when, after I won, he called my manager. Which I get it. I get it. I get it, too. You know what I'm saying? Which is, you know what I'm saying? But this is what I don't get, right? Is when I was going to court, my sister needed my contract. So she went to the office to try to get my contract for them. They had her waiting for like two hours. You know what I'm saying? For your character, just to build your character. To up. show that I wasn't a local rapper. Like I was really signed yeah, yeah. to a label, Def Jam Records, like Universal. Like, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? No, but they didn't come out. They had her waiting for two hours and then come out of the office. You know what I'm saying? But I eventually got it. You know what I'm saying? Not from them, but from the lawyer. But you feel me? Um, and that really, it, it put a bit of taste in my mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I got out, he was like, he was in Vegas for the Floyd Mayweather fight. Yeah. And he was like, he hit he hit my manager phone. He's like, man, put Ro on the phone. So I'm talking to him. He's like, bro, man, I want you to fly out to Vegas. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nah, bro, I see you when I get back to Atlanta. I'm chilling with my family right now. You know That's what I'm saying? That's real. That's real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I got back, um, we started recording, and that, that's when I recorded my mixtape indictment papers with yeah. DJ Drummer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the mixtape got on fire. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I started doing shows. I was on the road doing shows, and then that's when he called me and was like, you know, I want to finish this USDA, USDA project. project. Like, I'm going to show you how to get some real money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop doing them shows. So that's what I did, but and I came talking in. Talking about the shows, you had a van you was riding around in. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I had you a, was doing your yeah, thing. Definitely. I had and, all and that you, before and, him. And it, but you still was doing that, Yeah, and you had a Def Jam deal. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So evidently, some the, you had to create your own wave, or, or how does that happen? Well, like, I, did they put a budget behind you during well, yeah, that yeah, yeah. time? How was that? Well, okay. So you see what I'm saying? I'm looking at right, the right. way you're moving. Right. So I so so I did everything up until me get, getting signed to him. Once I got signed to him, then we went and did the USDA project. After the USDA project, I was the first artist from CTE to be signed to Def Jam. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I did my solo album, which came number five on Billboard. My like the true testimony. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, they dropped the ball on my on my solo album. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I had um, Louis Bag at number 19 on Billboards, right? Um, so my 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 product manager, my A and R, Dave on Washington, he was trying to go for me a top ten record. You mm, know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, and he was he was aggressive about it. Well, they didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they in in some way mysteriously he got fired. You feel me? Damn. So a month before my album come out, I don't have no A and R. He the only person who know me because he got to know me. Like he know my story. He know everything. Like you feel me? So I'm getting. I'm coming to who the, fired him? The label fired him, but. It had Let's to be, be real. It's got to be from. It had to been from Jeezy. You feel me? Because he was asking you, for it, more money. Do you think that he was? Why would Jeezy not want to see you win though? I have no idea. I can't answer that question. Do you think it was competition? Your ego. We just talked about ego. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like me as him at this time being my brother. You don't want to think that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to. You, you, but you the people around up. you, the people around you, are gonna always tell it how it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His actions gonna show how it is. You feel me? Um, so I just say this, right? I came to the to the um, to the Def Jam building to do my album cover. So at this time, I got Def Jam on my side. You know what I'm saying? Um, Louis Bag going crazy or whatever, right? And Soon as I come to the building, I come in the door, we coming up the stairs, and uh, they blasting, put on for my city on the radio. When they see me off in traffic, they say, Jeezy, you're some mother. Send the player, haters running straight back to the 
me on on the um, music in the building. Now I got my record going, and I done, and I done won Jeff Def Jam. You feel me? Soon as I come in the building, they got his record going playing. So my sister called me all day. So I finally answered. She like, I can't believe this. I'm like, what's going on? She like, they played a Young Jesus record like 20 fucking times on the radio. You know what I'm saying? So she like, this is crazy. How could they do that? And you got a record that's building on Billboard. Like, why would they do that? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's real. So I'm like, I'm hit you back. I'm Man. in the office. You know what I'm saying? So that's going on. So I'm doing my double XL interview. I'm doing my um, Source Magazine interview. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm still trying to be positive because for one, I'm grateful for the opportunity. And I'm a hustler. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? If I could get through the door, I'm going to be able to do yeah. what I need yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I'm not even all the way through the door yet and it's, and it's going on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.